Prayer for Healing Is there any part of your body that you want God to touch with His miracle healing hand? Is it a headache? Stomach pain? Pain in your leg? Hand? Back or any other part of your body? Is any member of your household ill? Is it your spouse? Children or relatives? Or is a friend or anyone you know ill, and you want God to heal you or that person? Now is the time. Our God never fails. He will heal you and that person if you can believe and pray along with me as we pray right now. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life and health you have made available to me so far. However dear Heavenly Father, being that divine and perfect health is your wish and desire for your children, as thy word made us understand in 3 John chapter 1 verse 2, which says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. Therefore dear Heavenly Father, I demand for optimum health in the name of Jesus. For it is clearly stated in your word in Matthew chapter 15, that healing is the bread of your children, Therefore dear Father Lord, I come unto you this hour desiring and demanding to be fed with this bread. Heal me of every known and unknown sicknesses and disease in me O Lord. Take away from me all manners of sicknesses and diseases. For my body as the scriptures made me understand in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19. That my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, it says. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own. Therefore Father Lord, if my body is the temple of your spirit, dear Father, how can your spirit continue to cohabit and coexist with sicknesses and diseases, typically the works of the devil? Therefore dear Heavenly Father, send me healing and heal me via your word. For your word says in Psalms 107 verse 20, that you send forth your word and heal them and rescue them from the pit and destruction. Dear Lord, send me this healing word to heal and deliver me from the sickness of the neck, head, ankle, loins, heart, genitals and any part of me that is afflicted by the demon of sicknesses. In the name of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, send your word to send every sickness and disease packing out of my life, in the name of Jesus. Restore unto me dear Lord the divine health as promised in the scriptures. For your word says in Isaiah 33 verse 24. And the inhabitant shall not say, I am sick, the people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Therefore dear Lord, I declare by the power of your word, that I am no longer sick. In the name of Jesus. For it is your will dear Lord, that we are hale and hearty, hence your word says in 3 John chapter 1 verse 2. Saying, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Therefore dear Lord, since health is among your plans for me, please give me this divine health even as you promised in your word. Talking about the time we are in it now, your word says, And the inhabitant shall not say, I am sick, the people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Isaiah 33 24. Therefore dear Heavenly Father, the hour has come for the fulfillment of your word in my life. For you asked me to ask, in Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. You said, Ask, and it shall be given you, seek, and ye shall find, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Lord, I hereby ask you for my healing, let your healing flow from my head to the toe. Every part of my body, including cells, tissues, organs, my entire system, my bones, marrows, and chromosomes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, He'll also dear Lord my finances and sources of earnings, for your word of Deuteronomy 28 from verses 3 to 14 says. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Verse 6 of Deuteronomy 28. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face, they shall come out against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. 
The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou settest thine hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Verse 9. The Lord shall establish thee in holy people unto himself, as he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord swore unto thy fathers to give thee. Verse 12. The Lord shall open unto thee as good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head, and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them. And verse 14. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand, or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. Dear Lord, anything in my life that runs contrary to these blessed promises, Lord I believe is diseased and therefore needs healing. Therefore dear Lord, heal my going outs and coming in so that it will always be inundated with blessings. Anything in my life that is not in its perfect state dear Lord heal it. For the scriptures made me understand that you made everything perfect and confess that all of your works are very good. Therefore dear Lord, I demand your healing of every imperfection and blemish in me in my life, for they are the handwork of the devil, because you have made all things good. Now I pray for you my dear listeners. I decree and declare healing and deliverance for every listener here this hour. For the Bible says in Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17, that but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Therefore dear Lord, I demand for healing and deliverance of every listener here, let each listener repossess whatever devil the enemy has dispossessed them of. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be restoration of peace to those who the enemy has taken out their peace. Let all who the devil has robbed and stolen their sound health, dear Lord, I demand for the restoration of health to them, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let sicknesses and diseases be routed and destroyed in their lives and families. In the name of Jesus. Lord by the power of your word of Job 22 verse 28. Which says. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Father I decree and declare healing for all my listeners. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, by your blood of Revelation chapter 12 verse 11 which says. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Dear Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree victory unto every listener. Victory over HIV. Victory over hepatitis. Victory over high blood pressure. Victory over low blood pressure. Victory over jaundice. Victory over impotency. Victory over barrenness. Victory over fibroids. Victory over ulcers. Victory over cancer and victory over any disease that has a name. In the name of Jesus, I demand the restoration of health to all my listeners and the restoration of all they had lost due to sickness and diseases. In accordance with your word of promises dear Lord in Joel chapter 2 verses 25 and 26. Which says. And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. Dear Father, Restore health and the losses that my listeners here incurred due to health challenges, and help them to henceforth serve you because serving you is a license for security, longevity and sickness-free living. In the name of Jesus. For your word made us understand this in Exodus 23 verses 25 and 26. It says, And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread, and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. There shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren, in thy land, the number of thy days I will fulfill. 
Therefore dear Lord, as they serve with the strength you have given them, take sickness away from them. In the name of Jesus Christ. These I pray and ask of you dear Heavenly Father, in the name of thy Son my Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.